Okay, I just wanted to share this little little tidbit with you. Um, people have uh, people have been making offers for uh, Anne, my central defender. Of, sorry, manager two's central defender at Bista. Look at that, seventy nine clubs. It says ninety three there, and fourteen bids made. So he's clearly a popular guy. I don't think I've seen stats like that before. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> Welcome to Season 1, Episode 7 of the Two Manager Project, and it has been all happening since I last saw you. As you can see, Bister are now top, five points clear, Royal Wooden Bassett, who are in second. Uh, let's start off by having a quick look at uh, Bassett's results. Um, as you can see, not been great. Drew with Binfield, which was the last game you saw, Drew with Abingdon. Beat toughly, but then lost to Wonder Fairford, which was not great. So, yeah, we've been dropping points like crazy there. So, uh, we're away to Hardly, so hopefully we can stop the rut and improve things. But uh, as per the thing I showed you earlier, we're starting to lose players. Um, and it's like, you know, 40-odd clubs are interested and so on and so forth. So, if you look at Laird, yeah, there's quite a few of the people that want Laird. There's a lot of people who want um, Hadfield. Uh, Brockenhurst and God knows how many other people. Twelve clubs, there you go, are interested in Wales. It's obviously all the players that have been doing good and have had a good season, they're uh, being looked at now. So uh, trying to keep them. I haven't lost anybody too serious yet, I don't think, but uh, it's early days, so we'll see. As for Bista with Manager 2, we've had a much better January. Um, three all with Tuffley Rovers, but we beat Ardley, we beat Ascot, we beat Lydney and Shrivenham, which is... Why we're top, nice runner form, and uh, we're away to Oxford City Nomads, who we did, did lose to last time, I believe. So, uh, um, but yeah, looks like um, Bister are favourites for that game, even though we're away. So we'll see how that goes. Again, same sort of issue with players. If anything, there's been more offers for players here. Um, I've just found out that Anne, who had all of those people interested in him, has uh, chosen to sign a contract and stay with us. So as you can see, he's not showing us anybody wanting him now so that's good we'll keep him at least till the end of the season Alrighty, let's have a look at the uh royal and bassett away to wildly lineup we've got bullman in goal smallly miles hadfield and sloan at the back in midfield spetch on the left with hendry and danbury in center and wales on the right and up front we got hetsky making his debut next to harris all right boys let's see clear head blah 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 all right go on in i have nothing specific I have nothing specific to say right now because I can't speak. Let's see what we can do because uh, it's not been great. Yeah, no pressure for Hetsky. It is his first ever appearance, but we're we're having a bit of a bit of trouble up front. So, okay, Royal Wooten Bassett in the red for a change against Ardley in uh, light and dark blues. Okay, Hadfield. Oh, it's a lovely day. Lovely day at Ardley. Okay, let's see if we can get creative here, because I'd like to see a bit more than us just on the defence like it's been the last few miles for Smalley. Smalley with the ball, puts it to Spetch, back to Demby, keeping possession but not pushing forward. Oh, long ball for Harris to chase, Harris on it, one-on-one. -on -one. He puts it past the keeper, nicely done, one nil. They obviously know we can't uh, drop any more points, and uh, it's good for Harris to get a goal. He's got seven so far this season, and uh, he has been pushing for more... Uh, more game so there you go mate keep scoring goals like that and we'll keep playing you all righty yep we're still gonna try smally again to spetch spetch on the left wing looking for the overlap smally has gone past him smally with the cross into the center harris oh it was a close one it was over the top if i need to take the goal kick for Ardley all the way to Demby. Demby, Harris. Harris still got the ball. He's doing well. Dispossessed. Wales is out wide. Does picked it back up to Stone. Sloan, sorry. Wales back to Sloan. Sloan looking for somebody. Hendry to Demby. Demby's good towards the box. Hetsky with one. Has a shot. Nice try, mate. Nice try. Okay, we're looking good. Five shots, one on target, and they've not had any. So let's, uh, let's keep going for a bit. I'm tempted to... Uh, 
don't get bugged, Harris. I tend to get creative again because, uh, oh, don't be pressured, Denby. You did well. No, still nothing happening. That's good. 1 0 up. Oh, here we go. Sloan, Denby, back to Sloan. So I'm looking for Hendry. Hendry to Denby. Denby now with the ball. Spetch out on the left wing. Puts cross into centre. Hetsky with his first goal ever for the club. Well done, mate. We'll take that. He nearly had one earlier, so that's 2-0. Still not half-time yet, so that's promising. We're looking a lot better than we have been, so I'm very happy with that. Good play by Denby there. Spetch on the wing, gets his cross in. And then Mark Hetsky scores. Well done, mate. We will take that. Okay. Coming up to half-time. They've had a shot. Only the one. Okay, well, I'm happy with how you're playing. So, keep it going. I'm not going to... Maybe I should make changes here because, look, Liam's... Liam Wales isn't doing so well, but he's about the only one. So let's let's give him a few minutes, see if he picks his game up a bit. Hardly with the kickoff. Okay, so he's composed, but 6.5. I'm going to give him to about 70 minutes, I think, see if he picks up a bit because anything can happen. Nope, Stanley with a free kick for them. Higgins, Wall, come on, close him down. That's better. Hetsky, go on, Hetsky. Oh, nice, he's still got it. He's not very quick, is he? Into the middle for Harris, Harris. Oh, just missed. Nice try there. I feel like we should be working the ball into the box a bit more rather than just hoofing it. But let's see, go on, Smalley. Smalley to Spetch. Spetch crosses into the middle. Wales is there. That's upped his game. Scored a goal, 3-0. Well done. Very, very good. So yeah, smallish throw in to Spetch. Spetch with the cross. Far post, there's Wales. He's pretty accurate with that, isn't he? That was pretty tight goal. So well done, mate. Like it. Yeah, we'll keep the tactics. Or we'll keep the changes I made. Yeah, we'll be doing well. Okay, Ardley in control to Coro. Kissy to McDermott. Come on, close them down. There we go. Oh, no. Not enough. Come on, Denby. I know you got it in you. Wall with a shot. Oh, it's over. Well done. <sighs> nice set to keep out of that covered. So we'll see. They're pressing us a bit now. Let's uh, let's tighten up a bit because I don't want to be caught short. Hadfield. Nice long ball forward. There's Harris on the ball again. One on one. Oh, not far wide. I don't know how how not far, but it was bloody close. Henry with the corner. Spetch. Rebound, Spetch again. Goal. Well done, Spetch. After your assist, you deserved a goal. Well done, mate. So that's your second goal of the season. You need to score more goals, I reckon. But uh, I'm happy with that. We're 4-0 up now. I think that's a, a better improvement. It's interesting that the ball rebounded off our own striker. But he went in. Well done, Spetch. All right. Well, 70-odd minutes. I'm not going to make any... I, I don't know if I should make substitutions or not. Let's let's go to make sub while Philip... This interrupts Philip's run. Everybody's playing well. But poor old Hendry looks tired. I don't like to take him off, though. I'm going to leave things as they are. It seems a shame to uh, ruin anything that might be well. It would be worth for maybe having some fresh legs on in defence. Uh, hardly have pulled one back from a Coro. Cooney a Coro, or Kunal. Yep, Philip brought it in. McDermott put it to a Coro who had a hoof. I don't think we really closed them down quick enough, but that's fine. I'll let them have that. Well, everybody seems to be doing all right. Everybody's calm. 80th minute. Let's just take it easy. Sit on that 4 1 win. Oh dear. Mc... Hardly with the corner. Oh, God, no. It's 4 2. All right. We've got to tighten up because that's not good. Come on, boys. That's too many. Oh, Sloan now. Fabista puts it forward. Picked up by Harris. Hetsky. Oh, just wide. That could have been his second goal. Well done, mate. Good effort. Hetsky from outside the area. Again, just over. wonder why he took a free kick and not Hendry. Interesting. Hendry's probably tired out at 63%, I guess. Okay, Wales to Denby. To Hendry. Hendry puts it over the top for Harris to chase. Harris. Oh, he's been brought down. It's a penalty. 
Lee Hendry to take it, our penalty man. I don't think he's missed one yet. Those are famous last words. Don't miss this one, please, Mr. Hendry. Goal. Well done. There was no doubt, really. I didn't have any doubts, I swear. The Lee Hendry. Ninth goal of the season. Well done, mate. We will take that. Don't know why it bothers showing replays, actually, penalties, because it's not that exciting, is it? Nothing just to see us scoring again. Okay, Bullman with the goal kick. Forward to Harris. Harris on his own again. Well, he's got... He's holding up the ball. Out to Sloan. Sloan back to Denby. we got a lot of yellow cards, haven't we? Sloan again. Out in the wing. Denby. Hendry. Also yellow card. Wales to Harris with the yellow card. Sloan with the yellow card. To Harris with the yellow card. To Hendry with the yellow card. Oh, and Hetsky. You haven't got a yellow. Keeping it creative, Hetsky. Not sure what to do. Back to Hendry. Through ball from Harris. Harris with the shot. Just wide. Good effort, though. Must be the end of the game. Yeah, there we go. Look. Well, 5-2 to rule Whoop and Bassett. Well done, mate. We needed... Uh, well done, manager one. Because uh, uh, we needed that. To... We need to get a string some wins together now after that. So if we can pick our form back up. I'm very happy. Yes, we appreciate your efforts. All right. I'm very pleased with the result and the way you played. Good job, lads. Alrighty, Bister away at Oxford City Nomads. Line up a Bister, Curtis Meir in goal, Price, Piranha, Anne and Asano. The back four, Higgins and Whelan in midfield. Hampson left wing, Hardiman central attacking midfield and Ramsey on the right wing with Dave Walker back in the team up front. He's not played a lot of games, bless him, but he's done all right. He's our experienced guy with all those good, good mentals that I liked. Okay. We'd like to win this one, that's for certain, and continue with our good form. We're doing well. Um, and apparently anything I would say would overcomplicate it. So I'm just going to say I have nothing specific to say. Kick off. Okay, Mr. in the red and black and Oxford City in the blue and white. Um, Bister's vertical stripes. Oxford City's horizontal stripes. I think I'm going to go straight with the uh, get creative and just see if I can push Bister forward a bit. Oh, Oh dear. Really? So we've got to send it off already? And that didn't look all that bad. It deserved to send it off, but that's not great news. Okay, Hesse's got to come on for somebody. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do something you might not agree with here. You're probably all screaming at me not to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway because I found this to work before to go strikeless. So I'm going to bring on Hesse for Walker, and I'm going to bring Hesse. To the back. I don't know if I should actually put him as the stopper. Yes, because he's a stopper. And put Piranha on cover. Because uh, he didn't do too bad. And we, yeah, we're just going to have to play with no strikers. All right. Well, it's, I'm glad you stayed with the club, Anne. But that's not a way to celebrate, I'm just saying. Especially that early on. So um, I'm going to go to Cautious because we're a man down. I don't want him running roughshod over us. But, uh, okay, Hardiman with the free kick. Piranha got close to it. Very close. We could do with more of those. But I think that uh, that should be something else. I should be playing for set pieces because I don't know how much we're going to get up front. Oh, Treadwell for them. Oh, good God. That was a nice nice free kick from Sonny Treadwell for Oxford City Nomads. But not a nice goal to concede oh yeah look at that he killed it perfectly around the wall we can't fault that can you i should have a look at him if it's getting to that point where people are signing other people's players i'm just going to pause this and have a look at treadwell because i remember him from before oh he, he looks he looks oh, oh goodness gracious he looks better than most of our defensive midfielders well we don't really have any because we don't play anybody in that position but <laughs> yeah he's played well and he's only 16. I really don't know what to say other than I'd like to sign him, but I just... We'll see. We'll see. Back to the match. Stop mucking around. Bista need to win. Oxford City Nomads are 1-0 up. That is not where we need to be. Come on, boys. Shout. Let's show some passion. There we go. That's fired him up. And you know what? We've got more, more attacking up the right. I think I'm even going to... Uh, Suggests that we do something about that. Well, half time. Well, Oxford City Nomads have definitely had a better run from it, although they're fouling the living hell out of us. It's nice to see us have a few less, although we're the one who got a player sent off and got a yellow card. So, 
Not sure how I feel about that. Come on, boys. This is not good. I'm going to be aggressive. Because you don't look like you want to win. And Hampson, well, I'm going to have to swap you off for Truffus, definitely. I didn't actually realise I could do substitutes from here. Now that I know that, that might actually come in handy. Um, poor old Truffus. He's a bit miserable. He thinks I let him down. I should just keep playing him, although I think he's going to leave soon anyway. You know what, Danny Ramsey, you have not done well either. We are going to bring on Leandro Brown for you. And I think, well, that's all our three substitutes, so. Anything to say? Nothing. All right. Here we go. Second half. Oxford City to kick off. I can say this isn't looking good. Oh, looks like we're pushing forward. Castles, McPhee, Kerr, for Oxford City. Back to their goalkeeper, West. Looks like he's going to put a big ball forward. And there we go. Oh my goodness, flick on to Conlon, and he has a shot. That's not that's not good. You know what, I'm going to tighten up again, because uh, that was too easy. Wheeling with the clearance for a corner, another corner. Oxford City to take it. Hutton. It's forwards a far post, and well, they got a header to it, but it went over, and uh, that's the end of the highlight. I think I need to... Uh, be cautious rather than very defensive. I don't like that. I know that was recommended to me by my assistant manager, but still. Oh, yeah, they look very defensive again. I want to be cautious. I don't care what the uh, assistant manager says. Come on, Bista. Let's get creative and be exciting. Okay, come on, boys. 80th minute. Let's, let's even just try and push for an equaliser. There must be something in there. Hutton with the free kick at oh, corner. Oh, God, yeah. 2-0 to Oxford City Nomads. It looks like Bister have lost two games to Oxford City. You know what? I'm just going to go nuts here because you never know. Push forward. No, not tighten up. Idiot. Oh, well. Never mind. Press the wrong thing. Kerr for Oxford City. They're passing it around at the backs. One of our players want to go dispossess them? No. It's all over. 2-0. Bister lost. And Anne got sent off. Like I say, very glad you decided to stay with the club, mate. But I'm, I'm disappointed in the red card. I don't know what to say, really. I think I'm going to have to tell the team forms to disappoint. Oh, I'm going to have to tell you all off. Yes, you might be demotivated there, Mr. Truffers. But it wasn't a very good performance from anybody, so... Alrighty. Let's have a little recap then of uh, where we are. Bister is still top on 60 points. Barul and Bassett are now only two points behind, having uh, picked up a win, so that wasn't bad at all. Well done, boys. Um, so disappointing for Bister, but uh, yeah, 26 games each. We're getting further forward. Let's have a look at the schedule moving forward. So. Bassett have got Oxford City Nomads next, so we'll see how that goes. You're obviously not going to see that game yourself, so I think I'm going to come back in March. Um, I think March is when we get our new youth recruitment. But I tell you what, with a few of the players leaving and a few people getting fed up and that little twitchiness through January in, in uh, Bassett's form, I think I'm going to have a long, hard look at the team and just see what's what. Um, I'm getting messages from, you know, and, and, and notes um, for manager two at Bista as well about certain players and stuff, so... And after that last performance, well, I need to make sure i got enough cover and i got a, enough depth. And we'll see how things go. So, yeah, I think next game back for Bassett will be Flackwell Heath. And if we just pop over to Manager 2 at Bista. Oh, don't do that. Okay, let's have a look at their schedule. <laughs> Lost to Oxford City Nomads. Yeah, they're going to be back for Fairford. Where are Fairford? I forget. They are ninth, so they're in the top half. So, again, don't want to lose to them either, to be fair. Where are Oxford City Nomads now? Are they in an improvement? Oh, they're in fifth. Look. Oops. For the Premier Division. Yeah, there's Oxford City Nomads. Look. They are in fifth. They're, again, everybody's off the pace. I don't look like the top two spots are under any threat. Lydney's the closest. With Ardley and Oxford Saints bringing up from there. And Binfield, to be fair. They've dropped a bit down. But it's the top two we care about. All right. Well, that's been interesting. Bista still top. Rule Wooten Bassett second. If you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.
Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.